In many Sikh families, when a boy reaches the age between 11 and 16, he is taken to a good wara. There, in the presence of the Guru Granth Sahib and following prayers, his first turban is ceremonially tied on over his unshorn hair by a Sikh elder. This is usually done by his grandfather and in his absence by his father. The Das Tabandi ceremony represents the coming of age from boyhood to young adult and designates the respect with which the turban is regarded. For the Sikh, the turban is the crown that God placed on the head of men. Karandip Singh took a few months to get the knack of tying the turban properly. The months of preparation has been well worth it. It's your step to adulthood and manhood. Uh, yes, we just had, we did prayers, we did, we made a prayer to God saying that please bless us when we um, but go up in adulthood and help us whenever we need to. Moham Singh says the covering of the hair places a responsibility for him to carry. He says it gives him the moral courage to dare to be different. Yes, uh, those with long hairs, as Sikhs, we keep our long hair. We come to the Gudwara, our holy place, with a turban, and our parents will fix this feather on our turban. Yes. Yes, sir. We are very proud to wear our turban. In undergoing these rites of passage, there are expectations to be held, not just by these young adults, but also the parents. The ceremony for Rupinderjit Singh marks a lifetime experience for a Punjabi male. Always have a clean mind, uh, have a spiritual mind and uh, always do good and uh, don't think anything negative. <laughs> that's, that's my advice. Today, you know, and uh, it's a day that the Khalsa was born where our 10th Guru gave Amrit to the congregation stating that this is a time that the Khalsa I'm sure you know what's the meaning of Khalsa, the pure. And uh, today, my son, Mr. Mokam Singh, uh, this is called the Star Bandi, where you put a crown on a Sikh's head and say that today you are in doubt, and uh, this is the responsibility that you have to carry in yourself, and you are a Khalsa. Eight year old Chetan Raj Singh feels like a king. His enthusiasm to undergo through the ceremony is encouraged by his parents. I feel like a king today. Dasta Bandi can be celebrated at any time of the year, preferably on the birthday or at any special events in the Sikh calendar. What makes it special is when it is done in the presence of a congregation. With the ceremony, the spiritual and family bonds is enhanced and strengthened. The ceremony held at the Pataling Jaya Gudwat Ra on Vasaki Day recently marks a revival of this age-old tradition. Event organizer Sukhdev Singh says it has been a while since temple held such a ceremony. The ceremony was, uh, as you correctly mentioned earlier, um, like a little bit forgotten when our ancestors came over from India. They left the ceremony behind in India. So we are trying to, we are actually reviving it. And there's a worldwide revival all over the world. Sikh communities, wherever they are, they are having, they are starting to conduct these ceremonies for their, for their young people. The Dasta Bendi is the biggest gift a child can give to his family, for it means putting his hand up to carry on the family tradition and abiding by all the spiritual significance it entails. Adlina Wahab, The Star, Malaysia.